Put it down there. Pop these guys. There's loot up there. How do I get it? Can uh, climb up here. So where was that loot I saw? We hopped up here, right? Okay, that just goes around. There's loot up here, though. How do I get it? See what we have over here. Maybe it's something we gotta come back to later. I can't climb up here. I did not mean to do that. There's no like little mini map, huh? Maybe it goes around. Or maybe it's lost forever. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Quiet. Who that guy? The Royal Scout. Someone's far from home. Let's follow him. Oh, it's Benedicta again. Hey, they just down. The Royal Intelligencers. An elite unit of Royal Knights of Elude led by Benedicta Harmon, who led clandestine incursions deep into the territory of enemy nations for a myriad of purposes. Espionage and assassination, chief among them. That way. All of them. Grigor's my witness. Excellent. Boy, you about to lose your head. Damn. We move. I, 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 I don't understand. Have I not proven loyal? You should have kept your mouth shut. He'll kill you. It is true my liege values loyalty above all else. But were you not quick to betray your countrymen for the promise of coin? Oh, you idiot. Sucks to be you, guy. Okay. 
Victor Harmon, commander of Walud's elite intelligences. If we can capture her. You! Uh -oh. on the ground, Imperials! We done being caught. Oh yeah, fight time. Oh wait, you're like a boss. Hang on, let me kill the other guys first. your ass gonna make flash when the screen flashes orange like this during pivotal moment in battle repeatedly tap square to press to either press or fend off the attack uh, yeah. Behind you. Damn. Throwing hands. Get the fuck off me. Midnight Raven slain. That was fucking fun. <laughs> uh, badge of Might, Steel, Silk, and Meteorite. Badge of Might. Awarded to soldiers for unparalleled displays of courage on the field of battle. The feeling of accomplishment of it enkindles the recipient's heart. It's thought to enhance future performance. Increases attack by seven. Gonna head off for the night. Thanks for the stream. Have a good evening, everyone. Good night, Yorko. Get, get some sleep, bud. Steel Silk, a rare case in which I probably has no role in the item's nomenclature. Steel Silk is every bit as strong as steel, yet soft as silk. Making it a popular choice for Taylor's task for crafting durable armor that does not hinder movement. They thought we were Imperials. Well, you do look the part. Though you fight like a true shield of Rosaria, and one blessed by the Phoenix at that. <laughs> Speaking of which, I wonder, does the other icon of fire give blessings, do you think? You don't believe me. 
And lo, the creator did make of the elements eight icons to serve as keepers of the one law. Not that I've ever set too much store by holy doctrine, but on that point, it's clear. Uh, same stuff. Yeah. Or stuff we already read, at least. had just the one warden, as of all the rest. A new one can't be born until the previous dies. And even that can take years. The thing is, you don't strike me as a liar. Which leaves but one person who might be able to shed some light on the matter. And they're in Lost Swing. As are our Waluda friends, I would imagine. We should hurry before it gets dark. But what if someone discovers the bodies? Well, then they'll be sorely disappointed. In the wild, I don't imagine those bodies would last very long. Before the wildlife comes to take it. Stage replay in arcade mode. Stage replay in arcade mode now available in the hideaways art tree. Enter the virtual battlescape for details on each new option. So I guess you can replay that. That's kind of cool. Do the fights again. Orabel Downs. The idyllic plains that stretch across the southern reaches of the Holy Empire are sparsely populated unless one knows where to look. So much for arriving before sunset. Oh, I didn't realize we were this close. Any idea what that is they built the village around? The Fallen Ruin. I've heard some call it an airship. What? Ah. Those flying days seem to be behind it. Airship. It's a shame, that. You truly Isn't think that another thing for Sid? For Isn't he all place? about the airships? My scout has never given me any reason to doubt him. Which is why I think we should hurry. Come on. Obelisk. Continuing with an obelisk allows Clive to travel quickly to the location via both the world map and local map. Clive need only approach the obelisk to attune to it. Louder than words. This isn't the first time I've seen one of these. Perhaps I can use them as way marks. Make for Lost Wing. Hey! Oh. It's dark as shit. Two dollars. Uh, oh. I kind of feel bad about that because those aren't really wildlife, is it? It's like going into somebody's house and killing their dog. That's kind of fucked up. There's something shiny up there. I see it. Let's go get it. And there's bad guys. Bloody hands, bloody hands, bloody hands. 
Shiny down there. Let's go get it. How did I see that a minute ago? Figures up ahead. But are they friends or foes? Let's find out. Those are bad guys. Don't let them see you. You! That man got lightning bolt. More Waludas. Why? What is it they want? You're welcome to ask the next ones we meet. Let me know. Well, I think we have enough to. I kind of want to upgrade our dodge or master it rather. What does mastering do? Oh, you can lock abilities, neat. Or the Phoenix. Good button the host gets in both melee and that can be dealt while shifting. I'm assuming that it's just quicker, maybe, if it's mastered. Uh, we still have two hundy. I can just learn to down throw this, might as well. Do we really need the taunt? I don't feel like we do, at least not yet. I don't really see anything else, so let's continue. Quest destination nearby. Lost Wing, the Holy Empire of Sombrik. Over here, why nobody's talking? Lost Wing. A settlement located in central Sambrique on the northeastern edge of the Great Wood, having initially founded prosperity at a stopover as a stopover point for traveling traders, it fell from favor when newer, better roads bypassed it, and eventually fell off the map in, entirely. The village is built both in and around fallen ruins that the people of Lost Wing claim was once called an airship. No sign of the royalists. Or anyone else for that matter. It's too bloody quiet. Even for this hour. What do we do now? First we look for my scout. You start here, I'll circle round the back. How do I let you know if I find him? Good question. Shout? Yeah. Shout. Shout, Shout out to Devil. That's the darkest book. The village can't be completely abandoned, can it? Do I need to touch it? I just gotta be near it, huh? What is this music? It's very intense right now. Hello, Sid. Oh, it's Sid. I'm flattered, but let's stick to the plan, eh? Well, maybe we should go to the Hanged Man. Might be uh, some info in there. 
That sounds like a child. <laughs> it's all right. I'm not one of them. My friend and I, we're... with the Imperial Army. And we've come to help. Do you know where your parents are? In... in the church. Then I'm going to find them and make sure they're safe. Can you stay hidden here until then? To the church mm. then. But the hanged man is like right there. Oh, I guess we can't get in there. Yeah. Oh. Thing under here. Is there a secret way in? Hello? No, I guess not. Oh, my light is very bright, huh? Maybe I should turn that down a little bit. Nope, not off. That's a little better. No, there doesn't appear to be anybody here. Man's gonna die if we don't get into a healer. Enough of your barking, dog. Oh, <laughs> get fucked. About time. Stand back. You mean to tell me that guy did not have a key on him, and that he used use a lightning bolt to open that door? Well, that's gonna attract all sorts of attention, Sid. Who the hell are you? Clive! Thought you weren't coming. You still alive, Gav? <laughs> Barely. Gav. Sid's faithful scout who puts his legendary nose to work in the tracking movement in tracking the movements of slave slavers, soldiers, and any other object of interest to the hideaway. The ever agreeable fellow only too gladly gladly delving behind enemy lines if he can get a good story or two out of it. Been doing what I can for the villagers, but I thought you were joking. It's all right. He's with me. Is this everyone? No, there were others. A pair of royalists came for the bearers just before you arrived. Was a dominant among them? Maybe. It's not like he was holding a sign. Uh, kill that man very quickly. I'll give you one guess where he's going. Clive, after him. Get your ass back here. of time before we seize our quarry very good and what of the others the bearers have been taken to care novent some may still be worth keeping should the dominant elude us all is in hand my lady they will not be spoiled i give you my word mm. <laughs> gentlemen a 
And in the kingdom of Lude, the lead intelligence is and true scholar of the blade who leads her loyal minions from the front. After attending negotiations with the Dominics at the Zenitra, Zernitra, Zernitra stronghold, where she crushed the hopes of the Republican army while encouraging those of Hugo Kupka, she parted ways with her liege lord in order to lead a secret incursion into Imperial territory. You join me. <laughs> oh man, that dude's got a big hunk of meat over there. And the king! Ugh. Imperials drink this piss? Well, it would go some way to explain their breath. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Benedicta! Imperials! Uh oh. And instead of killing them, you lead the rat straight to us. I'm not a rat lady. <laughs> well, damn, she just kills everybody, huh? Hey, he was mine. <laughs> ah, shit. Look what we have here, boys. An imperial bearer. God, I was getting bored. So is she, uh, Garuda? What the fuck? Charada. Okay. What is that thing? This means what well. I think it does. Sid has some explaining to do. Rada slain. That's not too difficult. That's a lot of loot. Magic dash. All creation is possible because of Aether. It is what gives formless form and the lifeless life. When an object is consigned to the flames, whether due to age, accident, or ill intent, the Aether contend within is released and returned to the land. There are, however, rare instances in which the ele an elemental charge remains trapped inside the resulting detritus and skilled weaponsmiths can harness this energy for use in their work cleric's medallion at a glance what appears to be a holy relic able to channel the inner power or sorry the power of the divine into curative energies actually contains the dust of a light aspected crystal known to be a catalyst for the restorative arts increases healing potency potency of potions by 20 percent Got some fight in you, even for a branded. Boop. <laughs> Clive. Hey, back up. <laughs> Look who's here to save the day. Is this how you recruit all of your charges? Don't recall you. Uh, they obviously know each other.
So, Sidolphus, remind me, why was it that you betrayed your kingdom? I asked your question, Lord Commander. Why? Because I'd had enough of you and your king's antics. And yet here you are, stealing my branded. What are you plotting? As if I'd tell you. Lady Benedicta, we have secured the dominant. Holy oh, something is new. Bitch, get your ass back here. And she's gone. Did she say where she was going? No. Then we head back to Lost Wing. One of the villagers may have heard something. But we can't just... Which is why I sent Gab. The man has a nose for these things. Trust me. Literally got Gab out of jail and just had to send him off once again. Or whatever he was being held in. I guess it wasn't a jail, but like that cell. at all. They were looking for a dominant. Yeah, that's right. I thought we were hiding the bastard. Like any of us would keep a monster like that under our roof. Oh, no offense. When no one talked, they started rounding up everyone with a brand. And then everyone without one and all. And locked you in the cellar, hoping sooner or later someone would break. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Things might have been different if you'd accepted my invitation. Oh, don't remind us. We were all saying the yeah. same thing. Yeah. This is our home, innit? Yeah. Don't mean we won't out when we can, though. And that, I'll drink to. Oh, come hear the tale of Lord D on the bow. Whose tamed worms a thousand and slain but tenfold. One hundred full legions the young dragoon led And watched as a million foes turned tail and fled His lance levels mountains, its thunders the deep The skies over storm breaks for Listen, Clive. And food the Revenge won't bring him back. It won't. Thirteen years ago, I watched a dominant kill my brother right in front of me, and I did nothing. But now I can. I can kill the son of a bitch and bring peace to my brother's soul. After that, whatever happens, happens. Right. You're content to be a slave, then. Okay. <sighs> Meanwhile... Here in the Holy Empire of Sunbreak. The Imperial host invincible. Yet here we find the Empire's cornerstone teetering on the backs of a handful of cowards and cutthroats. <laughs> While Bahamut may lead a hundred full legions, could it be that the young prince defends a house of cards ready to topple at the slightest breeze? 
Tell me something. Why do you not resist? Within you lies the power to slay gods. The phoenix perished in your flames. Yet you do not fight. You do not flee. You refuse your gift. Perhaps you are distracted. My offer still stands. Join us and you will be treated with the respect one of our kind deserves. Ow. Margrace, don't! Margrace. Oh, crystal fetters. A strange device for bears of dominance that uses precisely a ranks and activated shards of crystal to disrupt the flows of ape through the flesh, thus preventing them from priming or casting magics. So valuable are the materials from which they are made, and so rare the skill required to craft them. There are very few specimens in existence, and they are only employed when absolutely necessary. Here in Norvin, an imperial stronghold loca located along the southern fringes of the Sambarquis territory, far from its capital of Orflane. It occupies a key strategic position adjacent to the Crystal Belt and is suitably, form suitably formidably fortified as a result. Within its walls, there are living quarters, a church, a gal, and sufficient storehouses to see the occupants through a lengthy siege. I'll give you a moment to consider your options. Do be gentle with them. Hmm. There's shenanigans afoot. That's the dude that Clive saw in the in the early thirteen years ago, right? Or we're meant to believe that's the same person. What go? Gav's back. Canovan. One of the Empire's outlying strongholds, though apparently not strong enough to keep out the Royalists. The captured bearers are inside. I'm sure of it. If Benedicta's orders are to stay in the shadows, she won't be traveling with many men. Meaning, she'll be keeping her prisoners together and close by. Including the Dominant. So, we find a way into the fortress and conjure a bit of chaos. Uh, what about me? Excellent question, Gav. You will wait outside the care and guide those I free to safety. And miss all the fun? Why can't he do that? Clive doesn't have your nose. He'd stumble off a cliff before he even found the men. Come on, Gav. You're the best man for the job. Well, See, there's really good at placating people. You put it that way. Uh, suppose I'd better scout ahead for any surprises. Don't you let him down. I won't. Right. Shall we? Not so fast. We wait until tomorrow. But he's right there. And if we leave now, we'll arrive just as the sun comes up. Maybe join the guards in breaking their fast. Come on, Clive. They only just took the place. They'll be there a while yet. We've got one chance at this. You don't want to waste it, do you? No. Hmm. The Dead of Night. New stock. As the story progresses, new weapons and items become available at the Hideaway's trading post. Karen's Toll, as well as new forging recipes at the Black Camp. Now that's settled, there's someone I want you to meet. 
Uh, we're going to